Good morning, guys. Get ready with me. I just put cash down for a nap. Um, my bubble batch. Ow. I don't even know if those things work. Anyways, I just washed my face and I'm not really doing much today, but you can get ready with me while I tell you about my whole pregnancy story. So, I found out when I was already 20 weeks, which is literally almost halfway through my pregnancy. And yeah, I mean, it was a shock. I didn't see that one coming. So technically I got pregnant in February. I went to Costa Rica. I went to the Bahamas and I ATV ran. And I, when we were in Costa Rica, we did like jumping waterfalls and stuff. Thank God I didn't want to do it. I just sat on the side and I watched Blake and his friends do it. So I watched them because I didn't feel like doing it. Thank God I didn't jump because I was pregnant and I didn't know. And then, so yeah, fast forward to June of 2022, I found out and we told Blake's mom first and I was freaking out about telling my parents because I thought my parents were literally gonna kill me. But they took it really well. I ended up telling my whole family Father's Day weekend. And yeah, so I found out when I was 20 weeks. I had a full grown little baby growing in there. And since everything was like, our world was changing so fast, we went to the doctor to do like an ultrasound and we were like oh let's do a gender reveal Blake wanted to do a gender reveal and I you know I'm just putting it in an envelope and I'm just sitting there at the ultrasound and the doctor's like do you want to know and Blake's like looks at me and he's like yeah <laughs> so then I said obviously we're having a boy and yeah so we didn't have a gender reveal but we had a really huge baby shower like too big never doing that again Super blessed with everything I got, but it was just super overwhelming for me. And yeah, I thought it would be more interesting saying it, but it kind of wasn't. Just finding out halfway through my pregnancy is crazy. And now my best friend is pregnant. So I'm super excited about that because we get to be mommies together. That's actually a funny story. My best friend got pregnant two weeks after Cash was born, so. She's six months pregnant now because Cash just turned six months yesterday. And I am so excited we get to be moms together because we're BFFs. I literally just got blush everywhere. I don't, don't follow my uh, makeup routine because I literally don't know what I'm doing. I just mix a bunch of stuff together and I hope that it looks good. Sometimes I put too much blush on, but whatever. What else? So yeah, and then my baby shower was literally 300 people. And of course, like I'm super blessed with everything we got, but it was a little overwhelming for me because I was seven months pregnant or eight months pregnant. No, seven months because I had the baby at eight months. And everybody's coming up to you asking me the same exact question. What do you do? How do you feel? So it was just like a lot. Blake was having the time of his life though. And yeah. Now fast forward to when I gave birth. I was 36 weeks, so not full term. And we had gone fishing the night before and I was kind of like running a lot. And jokingly, like, trying to cast the fishing whatever next day seven in the morning my water broke and i was like blake my water just broke so he came to the house i didn't have my hospital bag packed at all so i rushed packing it we went to the hospital i was super giddy like super we were both like super laughing like didn't know what to do delirious and my mom drove us and it was whatever funny nine in the morning 
we were there all day then Blake's family got there and I had the baby at 10 30 at night and I was literally watching a Dolphins game as I was pushing but I only pushed for like 10 minutes because I did an epidural and my epidural was like too strong so I couldn't feel my legs so I wasn't pushing right and then I got nauseous no I got a fever they gave me Tylenol I got nauseous I started throwing up and on the third time I went to throw up I pushed out the baby so technically I didn't have to really push him out I just threw up and he came out and he was healthy and everything was fine we went home three days later and now he's six months old. So yeah, time is literally flying. Literally barely look like I put makeup on, but this is my, if I'm not really doing much, look. You just have some coffee talk now. Um, update on Cash's sleep schedule. He hasn't been sleeping good at all since he's teething right now. Me and Blake went out for a friend's birthday dinner on Friday night. So I left him with my mom. We live with my parents. So I left him with my mom. So she just puts him in bed and then, or like she'll take him to her room and when I get home, I'll bring him down and put him in bed. So we got home at like one in the morning. I picked him up, he was sleeping, put him in his bed downstairs. He was sleeping. He woke up at 8.30 in the morning from whenever my mom put him to sleep. And I was like, what did you do to him? Like, why is he sleeping through the night? And then I'm like, oh, maybe he's like better now. He's gonna go back to sleeping 12 hour nights or 10 hour nights. Last night he was up every single hour. I would put the pacifier in, he'd go to sleep for 20 minutes, we'll wake up crying for me to put the pacifier back in. So yeah, we're back to uh, no sleep again. Hopefully it gets a better. And on our vacation, uh, what do you call that? decision we're gonna go on a cruise with my family and exciting news Blake is leaving to Costa Rica and I'm taking care of the ranch for four days so I will vlog that if you guys want just leave it down in the comments but thank you for watching and see you next time look who's up from his nappy nap hi you can just say hi you're a big boy now you're six months old you're six months old you can say hi. Say hi. Oh, thank you for saying hi. All right, guys. Well, now we got to start our day. He only takes 20 minute naps. He only takes 20 minute naps. All right. See you guys in the next video.